let Lita take you on a journey of faith, life, travel, and interior design. Take your life out of the status quo. Status Life with Lita is brought to you by Status Home Design and the Shops at Status and by the Law Office of Derek M. Hayes at 404-777-HURT. Hello again, everyone, and welcome to Status Life with Lita on Business Radio X. We are broadcasting live from the Subaru of Gwinnett Studio in the Sinesta Gwinnett Place Atlanta Hotel. Lita has over 20 years working as an interior designer. She's now a full-fledged lifestyle expert, podcaster, and blogger. Status Life with Lita will take you on a journey of faith, life, travel, and interior design. Lita's mission is to bring her knowledge and fun teaching ability to help each of us design a life we love. My name is Derek Hayes. It's uh, I'm the host of the show, and it's my honor and pleasure to introduce the star of the show, Miss Lita Brooks. Hello. Good afternoon, Lita. Hi. Hi. Well, you're great. Yes, I am. <laughs> From ear to ear. Because I know what we're going to start with today. But before we do, a uh, quick reminder that Status Life with Lita is brought to you by Status Home Design, your one-stop shop for all your home and gift needs, the Status Market, your online shopping experience, and the law office of Derek M. Hayes. Injured in Georgia, make the right call to the law office of Derek M. Hayes at 404-777-HURT. Okay, back to the grin. Back to back to the grin. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you want to share the news? We or? have big news. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we got engaged, everyone. Yay! And she said yes. She said yes. I was waiting patiently waiting well I, and i was looking for the opportune time that's right and it was perfect absolutely perfect so, so we're both wanna... sort of sitting on cloud nine right now we just it just happened uh we're taping the show on a wednesday here in studio and we were just engaged on friday or saturday night saturday <laughs> night sorry well that's all right yes. do you want to tell the story um, yes, of course, because our listeners, if you guys are here with us, right, obviously, uh, I think people are invested. Uh, the whole premise of today's show is listener questions. And so thank you. Thank you. Which means you guys are listening and you're a part of the show and you're a part of us. So I think this story is very relevant to the podcast. So I, I think we should share it. I oh, think we absolutely. should tell it. Okay. Uh, do you want to do some background? Like, do you, as far as, because uh, well, it's I, the funny part. Like, how did this come to be on Saturday night? Yes, I, I can. I, of course, I intended to do this for quite some time. This background. <laughs> <laughs> it's it, what's coming. Yes, it is. <laughs> but I intended to do this for quite some time. I've known for a long time that, that I was going to. Uh, but as I said, I was looking for the opportune time to give the music. Uh, so with that being said, I had purchased the ring some time ago and knew that we were going to be going to a combined birthday dinner for you and one of your best friends on Saturday evening to a place that uh, I kind of leaned towards heavily when the planning was going on so that hopefully everybody else would agree. It's a place called Cotton Calf that's here in, in Metro Atlanta. It's a place that you and I went on, went to rather for our first official date. We had yes. a, a brunch there on a Sunday yes. and sat and chatted for a long time. And then we went to a wine tasting that, that afternoon after we were done, mm -hmm. uh, we sat on the patio at Cotton Calf. And so that place was kind of near and dear to our relationship. And that's where we decided to go to dinner on Saturday night for your birthday. Uh, and with that being said, we also had a lot of your friends there and I wanted them to be part of this because uh, we're very close with with friends and we travel. We spend a lot of time with them and uh, they've been a, an integral part of our relationship since day one. So it was important that they be part of this as well. And so with everybody there after dinner, uh, which was going to be just a birthday dinner, I saw the chance and, and had everybody kind of in on it the very last minute. They didn't know. Uh, you'd gone to the restroom and I pulled the ring out and didn't show them the ring, but I showed them the box and said, when she comes back out, I, oh my gosh, I need so you exciting. all to get her I to come stand by the fireplace so that uh, it's an outdoor fireplace so that she thinks we're just taking birthday pictures. And so you did. You came out. You and I stood there. Everybody was taking pictures. But what you didn't know is they were also recording video because after what we thought was going to be the last picture, I, I took a knee and and proposed in that moment oh 
that's where I kind of came into the picture. I just, I was inside and I ran into other friends inside and I was at their table and I was just chit chatting away. Yeah, we were waiting and, and waiting I know, and waiting and I for you to come no back out. I had no idea. Um, a dear friend of mine was inside and anyway, I came out and everyone kept going, come on, come on. Like, like you were waiting for this picture. And so the moment was we were taking pictures and then you got down and I was so surprised and I don't think in life I was surprised we got engaged. I was just surprised in that moment. And everyone, of course, the number one question is, did you know? No, I did not know. I truly did not know. There is difference in hoping and knowing. And I wanted to know. I had done my fair share of snooping <laughs> to try to find out. Um, I had looked in this one dresser in your closet. I was like, I, I was looking for a receipt. I was looking for some indication um, I just, I genuinely don't like surprises. I, I, that they really bother me. I think it's, it's type A. It's, um, I can be very controlling. And no. I can't say that with a cramp. No. I, I just, I don't like to get the, the wool pulled out from under me. I think sometimes when that happens and you have expectations, and, and I do struggle with this, we could probably do a whole show on not having expectations, but I do, and it is something I struggle with. And I, I get disappointed a lot. And, I just, you want everything to go perfectly, so you want to control it. But this was something that I kept saying, what did I say to you? Just, just, if you, and I was talking about the birthday. I didn't know the engagement was coming. I was saying, who's coming to the dinner? What's happening? Oh, yeah, what, where are we going? What are the plans? What, time's the what am I supposed to be doing? Yeah. And, and for the whole week, and, and you just definitely went over and above on everything that happened um, last week, and I appreciate it for my birthday. But um, at one point you said, just, I got it. You got to let, you got to let me have it. I've, I've got this. And you sure did. Not knowing that the proposal was coming, but I was, I was trying to say, just please let me. Let please me have let yeah. you have it. Yes. You just go with the flow. For so once. I had looked only in the top three drawers of that dresser and it was in the bottom. <laughs> so had I kept going, I might have found it. Yeah. But I wasn't supposed to. And I'm so glad I didn't. But so. I also kind of anticipated a little bit of that. So it stayed. <laughs> <laughs> the ring stayed locked in my safe at yes, my office. That's good. For Keep it away. a few weeks before the the actual moment. Right. So on the Friday, the the last day of work, of course, for the weekend, I brought it home, and that's when I hid it in the exact same dresser that you were looking through. Yeah. But thankfully, you didn't go far enough. Nope. No, I didn't. And I didn't tell a soul. I know that you know this, but I didn't tell a single person that that was going to be the night that I was going to ask. Uh, until that morning, Saturday morning, your parents had spent the night with us for your birthday on Thursday and then Friday night. Uh, and I pulled them aside. You had gone to uh, run an errand and I took advantage of the chance and I officially did the old school way of, Aww, of asking permission yes. and asking for their blessing. And both of them said, yes. Your dad said, why would you do that? No. <laughs> he might have. <laughs> He's kind of like that. He said, welcome to the family, Aww. followed up by a, what if she says no? And <laughs> See, I, he was trying to be funny. But um, they, they, again, gave their blessing and, and said, absolutely. And so um, the next person I told actually were my kids. They, 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 um, my son was in the basement there at the house. And I went to his room and, and chatted with him and called my daughter and both of them asked if they could be there. They wanted to be a mm -hmm. part of it. They're 19 and 22 years old. And so they understand the significance of a proposal. And so absolutely. Yeah, come on. And they, the funny thing is they hid behind the bushes. We were outside on the patio and they were hiding in the bushes waiting for you to come out of the bathroom for me to be able to propose. So yeah. They'd been hiding there for a few minutes. And I love that. At that I was moment, so they came running surprised out. when you said, my kids are here. And I turned. Oh, it was so sweet. That was so sweet. And it was perfect. Everything yeah, it about it. it was got on video. I really, truly am glad you had our friends there. Because what a celebration. And and if you're listening to this and you're not engaged yet, or I, if I could do it again. And again, it's everybody's engagement. You do it how you want to do it, right? But having that celebration made it that much more special. Oh, yeah. Had it just yeah. been the two of us, yes, it would have been wonderful. But then, but then you're just on the, phone the, the rest moment of the night. and the cheers <laughs> and the crying and everyone was hugging uh -huh. and your kids were there. It was just this big, huge, amazing celebration. And I would not have changed that or done anything different. Right. And then after we were through uh, there at the restaurant, we went to a, uh, what would you call it, a wine patio um uh yeah it's a it, yeah um it's kind of a restaurant I don't know if it's a well. full restaurant they do tapas 
not topless, but tapas, <laughs> right? Um, it's and wonderful. They boards. have a, a covered patio with the draping lights and live, live music, music on the patio. Yep. And so we had a reservation there at 830. So it's called Blake's. It's in Brazelton, Georgia. Uh, Mr. Ron Blake has become a dear friend and... Actually, most of the furniture inside of Blake's has come from my store, Status, which I love. Give uh, Blake's a a prop. If you're here in Atlanta and you want a really fun night, uh, definitely check that out. So we had gone there, and that was really fun to tell Mr. Blake that uh, that had just happened and to have the second part of the celebration on his patio. That's right. We sat out there with all of our friends and Mm -hmm. enjoyed the rest of the evening. Yes, we did. Which was very nice. Yes, we did. So, so now the, very the, exciting. the next part came on Sunday uh, when you told me that you picked up a bride's magazine or was it Monday? Oh, that was yesterday. Yesterday. OK. No, that did not. And I think we should talk about this because we did such an extensive series on blending. So we explain oh. the part of the story with your kids. But yeah. the part of the story with my kids, again, they're younger. My daughter's nine. My son is 12. They didn't know. And we held this off of social media specifically to tell them uh, but that's that's relevant this goes yeah, back is. to the last three-part series okay so you take it from here well again when when you're blending it's not just marrying you but it's it's also two blending families and and it's a commitment to you but also to your kids likewise from you to my kids and so with 19 and 22 year olds they understand that right completely different phase right. but with a nine-year-old and a 12 year old sometimes that doesn't really necessarily set in completely let me just put in a little interjection here 19 and 22 to have them there to have them in tears to have them embrace me go back and listen to the last series because that was a lot of hard work Derek raised these kids by himself into adulthood so to have them embrace me in the new stepmom role that's huge I mean it was just you and Libby with Matthew but as as dad Dad and daughter, that is a bond that is mm-hmm. very, very, very strong and very, very, very important. And so to bring another female into that, um, it's important. It's, it's very important. And again, uh, we did a show on mm-hmm. how to do it right and what to do to make sure you don't do it wrong. Right. And when so. you said it was a tearful moment, let's make clear. It was a joyful, tearful moment. Oh, my gosh. Tears uh, of yes, joy. That's what I meant. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, all of us yes. were just, oh, yes, yeah. yes. And embracing and, and yes. just in that moment, uh, just incredible feeling, a euphoric feeling. Right. And But again, it took years to get to there. Uh, yes. Not that she and I ever started out on the wrong foot. It, that is not the point. It, mm-hmm. I'm just saying the patience going slow always putting her first that kind of thing building a relationship with her separate from building a relationship with you because if she only saw me connected to you that would have been really hard for her but I built my own relationship with her and she loves and respects you and looks up to you and likewise so does Matthew so it was great for them again to be part of it but again, 19 and 22 year olds, they can understand the significance of a proposal, but a nine year old and a 12 year old don't. Right. And so we, as you said, kept it off social media. They'd been with their dad for the weekend. And the fear was that if something was posted, we would doubt and they would find out and it would spoil the surprise. So on Sunday before they came back, we took an opportunity to go find a little ring for your nine year old daughter. We did. And the purpose of that was to have me give that to her symbolically that again it's it's a blending of families and this truly meant we were now going to be connected uh and just like i've made the vow to you i've I've made the promise to them to be there for them and love them and take care of them and so we got a ring and when they came home we sat them down on the couch and told them we had a surprise for them and i think they tried to guess but they were not guessing right and so then i just like i had knelt for you i knelt down for her and i i just explained to her that you and I'd gotten engaged and that like I'd given you a ring, I was giving her a ring, a symbolic token of love and appreciation and understanding that I'm not just marrying you, that I'm going to now be in their life Mm -hmm. for the rest of their life. Um, So it was a very sweet moment. I know you caught it on video. Oh, but her reaction. So sweet. She was very stunned as I was in the moment. And she immediately started crying those tears of happiness happiness and just 
just an outpouring of love and she's just you were kneeling and she was on the couch and she just jumped in your arms and just cried and oh, cried yes. and cried and it was it could not she loved the ring uh-huh. and it just was a very very beautiful moment and so she, she before i could even say it she said i love you yeah and it was just again a very sweet moment um and then after she found out that we had the entire proposal on video how many times did she say? I locked <laughs> as many as she could. She, she just watched it and, over and, and over. Yeah, and the over. proposal the night before for, yeah. for us, and she just watched it over and like you said, over and over and over again. Uh, and then she sat. I, I walked into the kitchen, and she was sitting at the counter in the kitchen, and she had the ring box open for the ring that I'd given her, and she was just sitting there staring at it, mm-hmm. and had the the your cell phone still watching, and she was looking at the ring and looking at the video, looking at the ring, looking at the video. So so cute. And she's a tough cookie. Yeah. She is fierce. Well, yeah, she's a mini me for for you. She is oh, a, a I, I, miniature she's, version, she's, perfect miniature version of she you. She takes my fierceness to a whole new level. <laughs> I mean, neither one of you are ever at a loss for words, but in that moment, she was. Yeah. And it was interesting because on Saturday <laughs> night, you kind of were as well. And the one last point on the proposal, as I had knelt and was talking. And, and trying to get words out and, and eventually get to, uh, will you be my wife or will you marry me? Um, as I was saying those words, your head was nodding <laughs> instead of in the affirmative. Shaking it was now. shaking side to side. And, and But the words coming out of your mouth were yes, but your head was going well, left Well, right. I was trying not to cry. I was trying. <laughs> I was just shaking. It's almost like just imagine yourself if you think you're about to cry and you're just shaking like almost like in my brain, like stop, like focus don't break down hold on <laughs> but then you wouldn't say anything I you couldn't to get the speak words either out. so i'm shaking my head no and you're saying nothing wait, and i'm wait, like wait a minute this is not but <laughs> you, it was <laughs> it felt like it was an eternity but if you watch the video it was two seconds yes you know it was funny but i wasn't shaking no i was shaking no in my head like no 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 don't cry don't cry don't cry Derek, come on, spit it out. <laughs> so anyway, it was it was sweet. But again, it was just two two head of head shakes, and then I just said something like, "Oh, you're everything. Yes, yes." So, so now we've got yay. planning to do. And so now we out do everything. planning, and it's so crazy. That's the no- everyone. Oh, so when? So what? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we, I fact, mean, I haven't even seen you. Didn't get home from work till eleven thirty last night. Well, so. and, and on Sunday night or Saturday night, rather, after the proposal, we'd gone to Blake's and we were sitting on the patio. As you recall, one of your best friends looked across the table and said, you know, I want a short engagement. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and another one piped in, yeah, me too. I want right. a short engagement. So oh. everybody's ready to plan for Everybody's us. ready to plan. So, But we'll have time. We're going to travel this weekend. Um, it's a holiday weekend coming up. So we'll go out of town and, and spend some fun time in the car. And, and again, that that's what we need is time, which is what we get very, very, very little of. So. Well, yeah, that's always the struggle. Well, one last time, give your website. Nice. Give your Facebook. Yes. Your Instagram. Statushomedesign.com. That is one. That is the hub of all things. Statusmarketanddesign.com. That's the online store. Statuslifewithlita.com. But you can find all of them. You can get to any of the sites. They're all linked together at statushomedesign.com. And I gave you all the social media platforms. Status Life with Lita. There you go. Great show. Thank you. As always. Thank you. Well, thank you you so much for joining us on Status Life with Lita, presented by Status Home Design, your one stop shop for all your home and gift needs. The Status (laughs) Market, your online shopping experience, and the law office of Derek M. Hayes. Don't forget that you can enjoy any of our episodes anytime by visiting businessradiox.com, selecting the Gwinnett Studio, and then clicking on Status Life with Lita. This program is also available on iTunes, iHeartRadio, Spotify, or wherever you enjoy your favorite podcast app. Until next time, for Lita Brooks, I'm Derek Hayes, and you've been listening to Status Life with Lita on Business Radio X. Oh, 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 o